student today i am going to discuss a new topic that is saccharomyces in this video i will discuss about the somatic structure of this fungi and the reproduction method of this particular fungi now first of all the systematic position of saccharomyces the systematic position of saccharomyces according to annis worth is the kingdom is mycota then division is eumycota class hemiascomycetes order endomycetales family saccharomycetesi and the genus is saccharomyces now basically the uh, saccharomyces is a unicellular fungi the vegetative body of the saccharomyces is unicellular and it is known as the saccharomyces is known as the uh, baker's baker's yeast or baker's baker's fungi which is uh, widely used in wine and baker industry now the vegetative body in case the vegetative body mainly consists of a cell wall and the inner cytoplasmic material now in case of vegetative plant body basically the plant body is unicellular the plant body is unicellular which is globus oval or elliptical and uninucleate during rapid multiplication by budding the cells may remain attached in chain from the pseudo mycelium forms forming pseudo mycelium now the cell wall the cell wall is the outermost region of the cell and it perform the function of protection and uh, it protects the cell and it absorb nutrients from the outer environment the outermost layer the outermost cell layer is the protein and mannan and chitin first of all i am i tell you that the cell wall of the fungi is consist of three layer the outer the middle and the inner the outermost layer is consist of protein mannan and chitin the middle layer consist of glucan the innermost layer is protein glucan now the cytoplasm is granular and consists of organelles like nucleus mitochondria golgi apertures endoplasmic reticulum and ribosome etc the cell is uninucleate that is consist of a single nuclei the nucleus having outer perforated double unit member membrane remain by side of the vacuole some hydrolytic enzyme like the protease esterase and ribonuclease are also present in the cytoplasm now the cell structure this is the structure of the entire cell ha huh? this is the entire cell structure which consist of a large vacuole in their protoplast and the membrane and the membrane of the vacuole is known as tonoplast the membrane is known as tonoplast this is the nuclei and the cell organelle like mitochondria cytoplasm na? and the storage granules are also present storage granules are also present so this is all about the cell structure this is all about the cell structure now i am coming to the reproduction of that particular organism or reproduction of that particular fungi the reproduction is basically consist of three methods or the reproduction consist of three method the first one is vegetative reproduction which again divided into two methods that is new fission and budding next asexual reproduction and the c or last one is sexual reproduction now vegetative reproduction in case of vegetative reproduction what happen the vegetative reproduction is takes place by the fission and budding now first of all the fission fission is a method of uh, a method of vegetative reproduction where the it is found is basically the lower group of organism lower group of organism means like bacteria like unicellular organism are shows this type of fission in case of in case of fission what happen suppose this is a single cell this is a single cell this is a single this is a single cell which is known as vegetative cell this vegetative a single vegetative cell now 
a constriction appears in the middle of the cell and simultaneously the nuclei undergoes mitotic division basically a single cell divide mitotically to form the two cell this is the fusion now what happened a cleavage is formed a cleavage is formed at the middle of the cell and the two nuclei divide mitotically and they are migrated into different cell now what happened a septa is formed in between the two cell and after all the two cell is divided like that the two daughter cell are formed this is all about the fission in case of budding in case of budding what happened a single vegetative cell that is the cell of yeast the pore protoplasm of the vegetative cell swells at swells up at one side of the form of uh, one side of, to form a bud this is the swelling of the protoplast this swelling this swelling is formed to formation of bud two nuclei is formed by mitotic division one goes to the bud and other one remain in the mother in the mother that is the two nuclei there is another one is the one nuclei is migrated towards the bud and the other remain in the mother cell the bud enlarges but the bud enlarges but the size of the bud is always smaller than the mother cell a portion a, 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 a partition wall is formed here this is the bud and this is the mother cell the volume or the size of the bud is always smaller than the mother cell now what happens a septa is formed in between bud and in between the mother cell bud and mother cell a septa is formed here is different between the fission the in case of fission two daughter cell are equal in size but in case of budding one the mother cell is uh, larger and the bud is smaller the bud separated from the mother and leave a con convex scar on the surface called the bud scar similar scar with concave surface remain on the wall of the bud is called the bud scar this is the bud scar and this is the bud scar now asexual reproduction in case of asexual reproduction what happened in case of asexual reproduction the endospore is formed the endospore is formed here it takes place during unfavorable condition by the formation of thick wall spore called endospore during this process nucleus divide mitotically and form four nuclei this is uh, uh, four nuclei the protoplast divide into four units each with one nuclei and form four endospores okay now during favorable condition endospore germinate by budding and buds grow individually here is the structure of the endospore here a single nuclei of the cell is mitotically divided to form four nuclei and this four nuclei along with some protoplast they form a unit this unit is known as endospore this endospore germinate during favorable condition and forms a new plant body so this is all about the asexual reproduction of saccharomyces now the last method is the sexual reproduction the sexual reproduction now in case of sexual reproduction what happened the conjugation the sexual reproduction the method of sexual reproduction is the conjugation what happened here sexual reproduction takes place during unfavorable condition two vegetative cells behave as gametangia this is the two vegetative cells which behave as gametangia two such cells comes very close and develop develop a beak like outgrowth towards each other this is the beak like outgrowths which form from the gametangia from the gametangia and what happen both the outgrowth come in contact and the intervening walls between them dissolve the two outgrowth are come to close each other and they the their common wall of their attachment are dissolved now what happen the two nuclei of two different gametangia are come to close to each other after dissolving the common wall 
the nuclei of both the gametangia come to fuse to output now in the next step what happen the nuclei are fused to form the diploid zygote this is the nuclei of two gametangia are fuses to form the diploid zygote that is 2n the zygote behave as ascus because it belong to the ascomycetes so it is the ascus a sac like structure the diploid nuclei of the zygote undergo meiotic division form 4 and after that it will form 8 nuclei by additional mitosis or this also known as ascospores this ascospore are liberated by the breaking of the ascus wall and behave as somatic cell these are the four ascospores these four ascospore liberated during by the breakage of the wall and they form the each ascospore form uh, the somatic cell so this is all about the sexual asexual and vegetative reproduction and structure of saccharomyces cerevisiae